Hey guys, welcome back to the EA Sports FC 25 Crystal Palace career mode. Of course, first of all, we got to start off with the Youth Academy report because we haven't been checking them out recently, so we just got to do it. And uh, any good players coming in here today? Unfortunately not. Don't really want to sign those players just uh, for the sake of having players in the academy. But as of right now, a few players will be maintained or remained in the report. Moving down to Cameroon, it looks like Alpha Drame. Looks like a decent young player. Oh, same as Dango, Dembo too. But anybody else, unfortunately not. If that's the case, Drame and Dembo will still be in the report. And the final report from Spain, unfortunately Sanchez is still being considered as part of the academy. But as of right now, these five players will not make the cut. We got quite a lot of stuff to go through today. So first of all, we got Brighton uh, for the first game away and the Manchester United at home and forget about the Chelsea game. And I want to apologize again for that horrific display. I can't believe it. First game back into the new season and our goal difference. It went down to minus six. Probably one of the worst defeat ever, if not my career mode career. And then we got, a um, what do you call it, the... Uh, a transfer deadline down the 31st, of course, we are still in the race of signing a few players before the window shuts. And then hopefully there will be one Cowboy Cup in between here. And then we're going to finish the game off against Brentford away. I'm sure I've mentioned it a few times, but Arthur Vermeeren has been on our radar for a long time. Of course, we all know that uh, Chalaba is the captain for Chelsea. If that's the case, it's pretty much self-explanatory that he won't be leaving the club if he has been established as a captain. So it's a most, I would say it's a quite of an ideal way to go for a younger players abroad. And this player definitely caught my attention. Arthur from Mirren from Belgium. Uh, from Atletico Madrid, 20-year-old, uh, 5 foot 10, but we're able to get him for 27.8 uh, million pounds. But I'm sure we have to pay a little bit more than that. But we got a little bit of money right now, 45 million after selling a few more players. I think he is the type of player that I'm willing to overspend just a little bit for young talent like him. And I can't believe it. 27.5 million. The last time I went for him, I believe the whole package were 35 million. And to be honest, I'm happy that I got uh, from Mirren for 27.5. And Simone, you know, good for him. He decided to accept the cash. Right now, it's all down to the contract negotiation. Of course, he wants to be an important player. I can absolutely give him that. I would say a five-year deal. Well, right now we got more football to play, right? We got Europe to, to go through. We got Europa League. So even after signing for Mirren, we got to strengthen a few more, adding more depth, quality of depth into certain areas. Ideally, I would left right backs and also center back as well. Even the attacking front, I'm sure we all stacked up there. But right now, I'm sure for Mirren would love to get a pay increase since he's moving abroad. But the signing bonus would definitely, definitely tempt him to join the club in a little bit and let's see will he say yes to this deal and the answer is yes reasonable offer i might overpay him but like i said there are so many players there's so many young talents out there you just have to overpay for them you, you i mean you got to risk for it and i think he's one of those players where you can actually put your risk down the line and i think he is definitely the type of signing that we really do want is the fact that we have a young you know right the center defensive midfielder yes we do have the core Lerma, who was still future is still in the air, and we gotta extend a few players because, for example, Gay, his contract coming up very soon. In order to protect ourselves and for him as well, we gotta extend his contract. But we have 15 more million uh, to spend, so uh, I think we gotta spend that money elsewhere. Probably adding one more signing on the deadline day. And look at Arthur from Mirren. He looks absolutely sensational with the jersey. 78 rated central defensive midfielder. An exciting prospect. And you all know Wharton and from Mirren. Both of them, we got some really young talent. Really great young talent as our central defensive midfielder. And also, moving forward, these two are pretty much our core in the midfield. First game today, we got Brighton away at the Amex Stadium. We got to bounce back. I mean, they lost the first game as well. So for us, we have to bounce back. They have to bounce back to get to a good start, even though I don't think it's a good start anymore. But here we go. The first game today, we got Henderson and go back. We got Mitchell, Baraldo, uh, Baraldo. Actually, no, you know what? 
Mitchell, take a rest today. I thought last game he was horrendous. And then Barado in the middle with Gehi and Munoz. In the middle, we got Wharton from Mirren. And as a front three, we stick with Sterling and Ketia and Saar. Oh, that's a good touch. We could be in trouble. Saar keeps it in. From Mirren to Eze. And we just need to look for an outlet here. So Sterling back to Eze. Into the box. Cuts it inside. Going for a shot. Oh my lord. What kind of a clearance was that? 17 minutes in. We got our first shot, which is absolutely amazing. And the corner coming in this time. And Gay couldn't quite get there. Eddie on the outer edge. Puts the ball in. Sar, it's offside. Sterling on the ball. To Eze. That's a good one. As he's going to keep on running. To the far post, the Sar, but he couldn't quite get there. Wharton to Rico Henry on the left. To Eze. To Eddie and Ketia. Oh, my lord. Oh, God. That should have been a goal. What delivery by Eze, but Eddie and Ketia should have done better in that six yard box. That was the closest chance to a goal. And coming out as a goalkeeper, he's down. Barado couldn't quite pull the trigger. Good ball. Eze over the top to Saar. Heads it away. Mirren. Look at him go. Eddie and Ketia. No. What a save by the goalkeeper. That is the chance to certainly win it. That was poor. Absolutely poor. But here comes Sterling. Eddie. To Saar. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Saar, you have to score. But the goalkeeper turns into a prime Noya. How is that even possible? And Cross coming in this time. We still couldn't quite find a goal. Eze. And I don't see anybody supporting. One last chance here for Brighton. Could this be the chance for them? Oh, that's a good ball. We got to defend it. We have to defend it. Oh, what a save by Henderson. Tips it over the bar. He celebrates it like he scores the goal. But right now we can't, certainly can't win it. But can we defend it? Oh, come on, Rico Henry. Oh, my Lord. Henderson with another save. And that is it for the game. We have everything to win this game for the first 85 minutes. And Brighton have everything to win the game in the last five minutes of the game there. Is this a fair result? Could be. A couple of news here. So Franca has been loaned out to Aston Villa for one year. And let's see how he is by the time he comes back. But when you look at this here, match reschedule, which means the Europa League has been taking place, which means the draw are pretty much done and dusted. But I would rather leave that to the next episode. Second game today, we got Manchester United at home at Selhurst Park. Even after the draw against Brighton, we are still sitting at 19th. So it turns out Fulham is the only team so far in the league to lose back-to-back -back games in their opening schedule. And right now, it's even more difficult right now. The fact that we have to play against Manchester United knowing that they're a pretty decent team. I don't think I can afford to make a lot of changes here, but again, we only made one change from the default squad. So Henderson will be in go back for Mitchell coming back with Barraldo, Gehi, and Munoz. Uh, in the middle, we got Wharton from Mira and SA front three. We got Sterling and Ketia and Whitaker will be making his first start in this campaign. Oh, that's a good ball. And Ahmed could be through. One on one with the goalkeeper, and he scores. What a counter-attack by Manchester United. And what a pass by Bruno Fernandes. And Ahmed with the uh, goal-scoring finish. And I can't believe it. We're down by one goal already. Wharton, turn. Sterling. Eze. Usansai to Eddie and Ketia. No! When can we score? We have wasted so many chances in the first two games here. And we have yet to score a Premier League goal. And this could be... No, I don't think so. Again, just saved by the keeper. Whitaker to Eze. One last chance here in the first half. 
Back to Eze again. And cross into the middle. Whitaker, no! We hit the bar. It looks like we're being cursed in front of goal. No, oh, no, 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 no. Where's my defense? What a goal. What a goal by Garnacho. And we're two goal down. I thought last season we had a pretty dreadful start. Well, I totally forgot about this season. This is definitely up there. But Garnacho has made it 2 0 to Manchester United. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, Whitaker. That was poor now. 3 0. Three freaking nil. I can't be asked at this point. Who scored that? Cunha again. Here's Lerma. But look at that. We have nobody to go forward to. And here's Sterling. Kamara. Cross into middle. Oh my lord. Adebayo. So close scoring his first. Go for the club. And it looks like we ain't scoring shit today. And Quinn coming in and still couldn't quite get there. One last chance. Corner coming in. Oh, Lord. Ten shots. One goal, I'm telling you. We have to accumulate at least 10 to 15 shots. And one of them turns into a goal. And the conversion rate is absolutely horrible. I'm not, I, I don't know if it's, you know, pure bad luck or it's just the fact that we're still lacking in front of goal. I think it's a bit of a both. But Kamada with his first assist of the year. And guess what? LaCroix. I think this might be his uh, second or third goal of his career. But can you imagine? It took us... Um, oh my god. It took us hundred and no, 270 minutes to score one goal. We are absolutely dreadful. Sterling right now can be upgraded or changed to a left winger position and he went up by two. I totally told you guys that is his natural position. But right now we are arriving in the last 10 hours of the transfer window and certainly there are a lot of movements going on. Uh, we keep, you, you see that's the thing, we keep receiving offers in but I never got them. Like I would prefer the previous UI, they stop you with the transfer offer presenting into you. I know I can set that one up. But I don't want to at this point. But last 10 hours, then let's see what we can get. We have a couple of offers coming in for Rico Henry and LaCroix. I mean, these two players are not looking to sell at this moment. So I'm just going to block the transfer uh, just to speed things up. But in terms of signing, it's going to be a very interesting one, guys. Um, I'm looking to add more strength to the back line right now. We conceded nine freaking goals in three games. That is absolutely crazy. I could have gone for a center back, but I don't think I have enough money to do so. And the only position that we can actually, uh, you know, do something about is actually uh, central defensive midfielder. We already have four right now, but Lerma might be going very soon. But I would rather sign another, uh, you know, decent young, 26 year old is considered young, a central defensive midfielder from Leicester City. We're going to look for Bao. Balbakari. Oh my lord, I'm having a tough time reading these names nowadays. Samari. Somari? Samari. Samari. I think I would just come Samari at this point. Um, 77 rated, 27 year old, 26 year old. I'm sure I'm able to get him on a you know a, on a cheaper price there. I'm sure he is down to his last 12 months of his contract. Scouting report says that we're able to settle with 7.2 million pounds, and the answer is not quite. Um, they want a little bit more money. I can totally give him that. It's still a discount, to be honest. 7.7 7 million. How about that? To take off that sell on clause, even though it doesn't do a damn thing to me. And let's see what Cooper says. Cooper says, yes. $55,000. 55,000 pounds a week plus 500k signing bonus. And we have secure... Our could be the last signing. Really depends. We still have a little bit of money left, but we just gotta make sure we're gonna well spend there elsewhere. But other than that, I believe uh, Samari. It's our second, no, actually seventh signing of the summer transfer window. This is my nightmare here. I'm not letting the Corey go. I barely used him in the first season and I'm sure he's a talented player. He's gonna stay for another year as of right now. And there's more coming. There's more offers coming in for. 
some players, fringe players that I'm not going to be using. And again, the, the, the FC, the EA glitch is still happening. A huge offer coming in for Eze, but with eight more hours to go in a transfer window, I'm sure Eze would rather want to move to a bigger club than Fulham. Unfortunately, he will not be going. Actually, fortunately for us, because we're not losing him. We have Europe. That's the only thing he's staying for. Three offers coming in. Forget about the Devaney. Don't care at this point. Kamada. I'm not looking to sell him this year. I know his contract's coming to an end very soon. Um, but we simply don't really have the replacement for him yet. We got an offer for Sar again. I'm willing to give him another year. I thought last season he has been really, really bright. But I know he has reached to his prime right now. 28-year-old. He is definitely going to look for somewhere else at the moment. With four or more hours to go. I totally forgot about the the budget we have we got five million Ooh, okay we just gotta make use of that five million right now i don't want to just let it sit there for no reason so i actually have an idea the last player i'm looking at right now is tyler dippling 19 year old 2.8 million uh market value i'm sure i'm able to get him yes we will be pretty much stack with the attacking front. And that is exactly what I'm willing to put up to because again, some of them can play all front three. Um, worst case scenario, Dipling, not Dipling, uh, Whitaker can actually play as a central attack midfielder. We're pretty much stacked, but if we're able to get, you know what? I'm gonna offer 2.5 million. We still have about a little bit of money left, 2.7, but we gotta make sure that we, we gotta extend some of the player's contract. 1% sell on clause, I'll take that away. And instead, I'm going to put in the new transfer uh, value of 7.25. This is fair enough. And whoever that was, was it Russell Martin or Martin Russell? He's going to say yes to it. And he did. I am offering him 30K a week plus 400K signing bonus. And Tyler Dippling will become our latest and final signing of the summer transfer window. All right, this is crazy. Spurs have decided to put an offer in, but I'm not looking to get Gehi away. I know he's down to, what, 12 months of his contract, but Spurs have no European football, and that's the only thing that turns him off as of right now. That concludes the summer transfer window. We have secured at least eight signings uh, for the past two episodes, which is absolutely great, but also there's other bits and bobs that I need to do or figure it out. Of course, first of all, it's pretty much the young player. I still want to integrate some of them into the team. Cruz have changed his position. Hines has changed his position. Atara has changed his position. I don't know if it's for the better or not. It doesn't look like it, to be honest. We are looking very good with the manager rating. 92 rated right now because we have completed the youth development and also the brand exposure. Let's look at our newly signed player here. So Tyler Dippling, 69 rated right winger, showing great potential, which is great. He would definitely get quite a bit of a game time this year. And another player I want to talk about is Sumari. Um, look at him, 77 rated, 24, wearing number 24, but unfortunately no tag on him because currently he's 26 year old. And that concludes our uh, summer transfer window. But more importantly, we got to extend the contract of Gehi. I'm sure he wants to stay at the club right now since there's a bit of an improvement over the past year. Definitely not this season, but I'm sure I might be able to get him to stay. But we don't really have a lot of money. This is absolutely crazy. We simply can't afford Gehi at the moment unless we offload somebody in the summer or in the January transfer window. I don't think... Oh my god, he said yes to the offer. It was not too good. The signing bonus was certainly very, very low. He definitely did get a you know wage increase uh, on a weekly basis, but I can't believe the captain decided to say yes to that contract. Well, this is going to be the last game today. I feel like the transfer window has taken toll a lot of the time. So I'm sure this is going to be a last one. I uh, hope you guys enjoy so far. Enjoy the signing, but not the result. But right now, we have a chance to redeem ourselves here. Look at us. Ah, oh, Horrible. 20 of plays, no wins, one draw, two losses. That might not be the worst, but the fact that we conceded nine goals and scoring only one goal. Oh, Lord. Please help us to get away whatever crap that we're in. 
But for the final game, we got Brentford, and everybody is similarly uh, deemed to fit to start this game. And we got some really good players on the bench, on the reserve as well. I'm sure some of them might be looking likely to play, but the only... You know what? I'm going to give Dippling a chance for this game. He's going to start. I trust him. I trust my young player. And this is going to be lineup. Henderson, go back. We got Mitchell, Baraldo, Gay, and Munoz in the middle. We stick with Wharton, Vermeeren, and SA front three. We got Sterling and Ketia and Dippling. Dippling. The Vermeeren. Come on, somebody start running. Here's Dippling. First goal? No. Uh, that was our first shot. And what is going on there? What is going on with this team? Nice tackle by Wharton. We pick the ball up. Finding Eddie and Ketia. Into the box. Is that a... What a block that was. Whoever that was from. I think it was Aaron Hickey. Who made a last ditch block. Couldn't even see it. Corner coming in. Heads it away. Back to Eze. And to Dippling with the header. But straight to the keeper. Oh, come on. Wait, what? I didn't ask for that. What is that, guys? Come on. How are we getting outdone by that easily by Brentford? And Horland have scored. I don't think it's that Horland, right? Wharton. Sterling. To Eze. No. Guys, come on. How have we not scored? This is this is not acceptable in whatsoever. And a corner coming in, save again by the keeper, clears it. Sterling again going around. He has done really well. And it's all about the final product. Okay. Something is not right. How did the goalkeeper save that? And how did Sar didn't didn't score? I'm very confused. I am very concerned. And corner again. Here's Sterling. Kamada, he's definitely on side. One last chance here. And Kamada, Jesus Christ, how have we not scored again? How have we not scored with 30 more seconds to go? At a bio. Back to Kamada. There's literally no chemistry there. I don't know what to say. We lost three games in the first four games of the season, and we drawn one, which means we conceded 10 goals and only scoring one goal. I am going to leave it here, guys. I can't go on and play another game. Right now, I need to take a break. Well, uh, horrible start. We signed three great players, but in terms of the performance, doesn't reflect that way. Uh, the way how we started is similar to how we started last season. I'm sure this is only a small little adjustment period with new signings coming in. Uh, but again, I think next episode, we have to start pick things up. There's no way. Um, ended up top six in the last season. And right now for the first four games, we're sitting at dead bottom 20th with one goal score and 10 goals conceded. Absolutely, we can't do that. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in a bit.